Okay, we're going to do a, a review of three uh, cordless drills or cordless screwdrivers. Uh, we have the uh, Black & Decker um, LI2000 um, uh, electric screwdriver uh, drill. We have the Black & Decker um, PD600 uh, pivot um, by Black & Decker. And we have the DeWalt and this is the uh, DW920 electric drill and screwdriver. Um, and what we're going to discuss a little bit about the pros and cons of each one. Okay, the Black & Decker uh, uh, lithium, the small one here, is a lithium uh, ion battery. So it holds the charge very nice. But uh, there are a couple of little things. Um, you can change the position. Uh, to uh, more of a pistol grip, but there's no controls on the on the grip. The control is actually here. Uh, you depress this, that's forward. If you switch it over this way, then it'll go in reverse. And uh, you know, it's a nice little um, uh, electric screwdriver. It, it does have the hex connection for the uh, um, drill bits and, and screwdrivers. But uh, it's a little difficult sometimes to uh, activate the uh, this control up here. It would be nicer if there was a uh, a button on the uh, on the pistol grip. Okay, next one is the Black and Decker pivot, and I really like this design. I've had I actually I had another uh, screwdriver. Let me see if I can get that in. This is the uh, the Craftsman. Uh, uh, of course, Black & Decker purchased Craftsman. I've had this for probably between five and eight years. Well, the problem with this is that it is a, a nickel cadmium battery in this and, and also in the, in the Black & Decker. And um, so after a while, the nickel cadmium uh, won't hold a charge any longer. And so the Craftsman, unfortunately, now is, is sort of dead. It doesn't really operate. You can see it's been all off charge for a while and it uh, doesn't hold the charge. But the uh, I like the design mainly because for one thing you can change it to a pistol grip like this and um, let me get it in the frame and uh, also on the uh, on the pistol grip it has two buttons. The top one is forward, the bottom one is reverse. Uh, it also has a speed control at the top here that allows you to switch from uh, drill to screw. And it also has this uh, control up here, which allows you to adjust the uh, uh, the tension so you don't over tighten screws. So, um, you know, it, it, it's very handy. It has a couple of um, places here for bits uh, uh, as well. And um, again, the uh, only drawback of this is that uses nickel uh, cadmium and it's not changeable just like this this drill is not you can't replace the battery once it dies so both of these if the battery starts not holding a charge you basically have to throw the drill away okay this one the DeWalt again it's the same uh, general uh, uh, concept you can uh, pull this back and and change it to uh, more of the traditional type of drill However, on this one, there's a single button at, at the bottom here. And uh, if you want it to go in reverse or, or uh, forward, you have to change this button here, uh, this one, the small one here. And that will switch it between forward and reverse. The advantage of this one, however, is this. It has, a, a again, a nickel cadmium battery, but it's removable. And this particular kit uh, comes with uh, two of these batteries. So uh, you can use this for a long time when the battery is, um, is depleted. You can take the other battery and, and connect it up and start recharging the first battery. And also, if the battery eventually dies, can't hold a charge anymore, uh, you can, uh, of course, replace it. So they all have their uh, unique advantages. However, out of these three... My favorite is still the Black & Decker Pivot, and it's basically because of the convenience of, of the forward and reverse uh, um, connection here and the ability to change the speeds 
up here. Okay, uh, if you like this review, please uh, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for uh, listening.